Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to party. I did this extra Vavavoom black eyeliner look and I paired it with a red lip. So if you want to see how I create this look, then keep on watching. I'm starting my makeup by applying a base for my eyelids and this will prevent any creasing. The product I'm using for this is a paint pot from MAC and it's called Soft Ochre. I then always like to set that base with a powder and this is from L'Oreal, it's the Infallible and I'm applying it with a Sue David brush. Next I'm moving on to the eyeshadows and this is a palette from Guerlain. The same brush I dipped into the lightest shadow from the palette and I went over the entire area so the eyelid and underneath my eyebrow. Then I used a uh, cappuccino kind of color and this is my transition shade. Afterwards I took the matte brown and I started to create like a smokiness like a smoked outline at the base of my lashes and I also took this eyeshadow in a flick I went outside the eye socket the brush I use for this is a Sephora duo ended brush with the smudge end I laid down the color and with the shader end I smoked it out I also repeated the same steps two more times then I took the crease brush with no product on it and I went over that line, I just wanted to make it a bit more smoky looking. The real deal begins right now and that's the eyeliner. I use this H&M one and this is in black and the brush is a Real Techniques one. For this look the start of the show is definitely this eyeliner and I took my time with it. I did it quite thick beginning with the inner corner of my eye and I went in a flick outside the eye socket. Okay this is exactly what I had in mind and then I took a smudge brush from Real Techniques and took that middle shade there and smoked out just a bit the upper line of the eyeliner. Afterwards I took that cappuccino color and the 228 from Ziva and went over the entire crease area with it. It often happens that when you have the eyeliner on, you feel like you've lost a bit from the rest of the eye look. So for me with this look, I felt like I needed a bit more of that brown haziness around the eyelids. Okay, I'm leaving the eyes for now and I'm moving on to the base. I'm applying here a moisturizer, this is from La Roche-Posay, and then a pore filler from NYX, and this is my face primer. The foundation I'm using is from MAC and it's the water weight foundation. The consistency is really runny so it's a medium kind of coverage and I'm applying it with a sponge. I did use a couple of layers to achieve that medium coverage. But to be perfectly honest I really love this kind of foundations. They are not too heavy on my skin and also not too drying. This is also not emphasizing any fine lines I might have so I'm loving that. To brighten up certain areas from my face I'm using a concealer and this is from Maybelline, the Eraser Eye. It will go underneath my eyes, the length of my nose, on my chin and the sides of my face where I have a bit of redness from my birth. The same powder from L'Oreal I'm using to set the entire base. The brush I'm using for this is a Real Techniques powder brush. My bronzer is from Burberry and it's matte and it has a really warm undertone and I love that. I'm using here to apply it my trusty Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush and this product will go where it normally goes. So I'm basically warming up the sides of my face, the cheeks, um, the forehead, chin, all that. My blush is from Kiko and it has like a very dry putty consistency and I'm applying it with a Japanese blusher brush. The highlighter is also from Kiko and it's looking like a very gold champagne color. It's very intense. This brush is from Zoeva and it's the fan brush and it's my fave to apply highlighters. 
for my brows I'm using the Master Brow Palette from Maybelline and I'm taking that first shade, this is like a gel consistency and then with the middle shade on top of that. Next I'm using a mascara and oops, <laughs> it's broken, I did that. Okay, scratch that. I'm using a mascara from Max Factor and this is the false lash effect in black. But this is only for my top lashes because for my bottom ones I'm using a MAC mascara. This is the extended play in black. And then I made a fine inner corner flick with the Master Precise eyeliner. To make the inner corners pop a bit more, I applied the highlighter with a Kiko pencil brush. For my lips, I used a cherry red colored lip liner. This is from Manhattan and I lined my lips with it. Not only that, but I also filled in my lips with it and on top I went with a lipstick from Lancome, a fiery red, beautiful red. the look I apply my false lashes those are from Luxie Lash in Grace so guys this is the look I came up with and you have to admit this is an eye catcher and paired with the red lip even better if you like the look show me subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on social media to see more I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial bye